The Blairites have been plotting and Jeremy rumbled them before they could go ahead with a sort of collective mass resignation and he sacked Hilary Benn for treachery. Um, and then the others have resigned step by step. Um, what they were hoping to do was force Jeremy out and to get him just to climb down. But the trade unions and the members of the party around the country have made it very clear they are backing Jeremy 100%. And here we have a list of some of the unions who are very clear they're standing behind Jeremy. Uh, there was a big rally of five, uh, five or ten, actually 10,000 people in uh, Parliament Square on Monday. Uh, and I'm certain that Hillary Benn couldn't muster a rally of a hundred to support him, you, you know, but there's 10,000 people there saying keep Jeremy Corbyn as the leader. And I've been receiving texts from people at school who I knew 40 years ago saying our whole family backs Jeremy, stay there. Uh, I think, you know, the thing to understand is that Jeremy is the right person to be involved in key negotiations about leaving the European Union because he's not prepared to tell lies to the people and that is the Blairites problem. When they say he's a bad leader it, they mean he will not lie, that's their idea of a bad leader. Someone who won't lie is my idea and the public's idea of a good leader. Also he's fighting for a fairer Britain which is the opposite to what the Blairites want. Exactly, and this is where the split is in the party. It's polarised things, and what I think, or I see happening, is that it's got so blatant that the public are cottoning on, especially after the Brexit vote. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up was, in my opinion, I think they tried to fix the vote, but they weren't ready for the amount of people who voted out. And I think it surprised them. I, in my personal opinion, this is just an idea. I think that the outvote was probably up to about 70% from what I've seen around the country. What would you say about that, Piers? Well, the real outvote, if it hadn't had all these lies and innuendo and, uh, uh, you know, fear-mongering and so forth, uh, would have been more people against. And I think the authorities were surprised, completely taken aback, and after the result, you can see they were in complete disarray. They didn't know what to do, you, 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 you know. Uh, I mean, Cameron was thinking he was going to carry on, uh, you know, in the European Union and allowing the Americans through the TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade Investment Partnership, through that to uh, uh, well, asset strip the British economy, continue to deindustrialise it. Because the story people have had over the last decade in the European Union is deindustrialisation, loss of jobs. And that is because of the way they actually pay companies to export jobs to other parts of, of, of Europe or even outside Europe where they will make higher profits because the American cartels, international corporations, are desperate to maintain uh, profit levels. Now, um, the powers that be want to reverse the referendum. I don't think they can do that, but they're going to try and find ways of slowing down negotiations and, and making the withdrawal somehow kind of in, ineffective. I mean, my guess is now people know more and more about the facts of the European Union. If there was uh, a referendum next month, say, I would say that 85% of people would say out, out, out. So they don't want that. They want to have a slow burn and try and muzzle or destroy people like my brother. However, they will fail. Because the rank and file, if there has to be a re-election, will back Jeremy 100%. So, uh, well, or 80% or 90%, or or but certainly they'll back him very considerably. Um, so it may be the Blairites will black off, or back off. I, I, I don't know, but they've got to find uh, 51 names in order to put forward an alternative um, member of parliament candidate. But the BBC, of course, is busy building all sorts of confusion in order, well, there's a lot of things they want to prepare for. I'm calling it now BBC Project Chaos, and they, every day they come up with some problem and difficulty. And they were blaming Jeremy for the low result uh, of, of, of things, but they, the claims are completely ridiculous because they say, look, Labour only got 63% of his supporters to vote for Remain. That was bad, they said. Well, 
the SNP, Nicola Sturgeon, only got 64% of SNP to back Remain. Therefore, Nicola Sturgeon should resign. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, what, what is this story? The fact is, whatever the result, the Blairites wanted and were ready to attack Jeremy now. The reason is, there's going to be a bit of uncertainty in politics, so they can jump in, ride on that, and they want it done before the Chilcot inquiry comes out. They want it done before it's exposed to the whole world that Tony Blair is a war criminal. And they'd like to destabilise things so much in Parliament that maybe Parliament could just postpone that. And another very important thing that's coming out is, uh, and again, Blairites and Tories working together, they've got a list of 100 council estates in London they want to demolish. They want to socially cleanse. They want to remove these people from London.